Item number SCP-2798 Object Class Thaumiel Special Containment Procedures The site of the Zambezi Superdeep Borehole, designated as Site-2, is owned and operated by NG Namor MV, a Belgian energy exploration firm and Foundation Front organization. All operations at Zambezi are to be disguised as natural gas extraction activities to potential observers and the government of Mozambique. While measurement and detection of SCP-2798 is not believed to be possible without proprietary Foundation technology, Site-2 staff are to monitor geological and seismological journals and institutions for any signs of possible SCP-2798 detection. Secondary effects of SCP-2798 on the environment and human health are anomalous and thus unlikely to be linked to Foundation activities. Therefore, information suppression resources are to be prioritized for containing direct observation of SCP-2798. Periodic monitoring of SCP-2798 is to be performed at least once every three months, with all data transmitted immediately upon collection to Overwatch Command. Description. SCP-2798 is an anomalous energy field generated by Earth since 1971. SCP-2798 is the result of a Foundation project, initiated in 1954 and completed in 1971, designed to contain SCP-001. SCP-2798 has been partially successful in ameliorating the effects of SCP-001, however, the intensity of SCP-2798 has been decreasing at a geometric rate since 2005, and is expected to fail entirely in the near future. See Addendum 2798.5. The primary effect of SCP-2798 has been to disrupt the influence of SCP-001 on Earth and its inhabitants. SCP-2798 has a number of secondary effects, many of which are profoundly harmful to significant numbers of people. These effects, however, have been determined to be less harmful in total than a failure of containment of SCP-001. SCP-2798 is believed to interfere with the effects of SCP-001 by causing it to perceive Earth as a singular living entity. This perception is theorized to affect the intent of SCP-001 and reduce the focus of its actions. The scientific principles by which this is achieved are unknown at this time. Addendum 2798.1 Project Serapis History after the discovery and classification of SCP-001 in 1953, approval for deployment of several SCP-classified anomalous objects was granted by the Overwatch Command Subcommittee for Emergency Containment. These objects were used in the course of Project Serapis, an initiative to contain SCP-001 by means of interfering with the entity's perception of Earth. Researchers determined that this could be best accomplished by generating an energy field encompassing the planet designed to provide the appearance of a single sentient being. SCP objects were employed as follows. SCP-158 Approved for use in generating precursor chemicals for eventual refinement into compound Z-21 violet. Initial approval given for production of 10,000 cubic meters of precursor, later increased to 250,000 cubic meters. SCP-1921 Bases of design for equipment used in refinement of compound Z-21 violet, utilizing principles of chemical reactions involving anomalous substances and alteration of cognitive functions over distance and area. SCP-447 Amounts of refined SCP-447-2 used as catalysts during compound Z-21 violent synthesis to exponentially enhance area of effect. SCP-310 Material generated by anomaly employed as extreme heat retardant additive for compound Z-21 violet, enabling substance to persist within the upper mantle on an indefinite basis. SCP-2570 Corpse of recently deceased musician Django Reinhardt, removed from containment and appropriated for use in a specially modified drilling mechanism, utilizing the corrosive substance constantly generated by the dimensional portal co-located with the corpse. Borehole reaching the Earth's upper mantle, successfully completed by November 1953. SCP-1714 Advanced fluid dynamics models derived from SCP-1714 applied to injection of compound Z-21 violet into the upper mantle to ensure continuous flow and maximum extent of SCP-2798 energy field. 
precursor generated by SCP-158 was initially sourced from cattle stocks. In the course of the development of compound Z-21 Violet, however, this source was found to result in insufficient generation of required energy levels during tests. Consequently, an agreement was reached with covert partners within the government of the United Kingdom to provide sources for precursor concurrent with the aftermath of several military engagements in British Kenya. Details of this agreement remain sealed. Approximately 1,400 cubic kilometers of compound Z-21 Violet was synthesized using anomalous methods. Using the completed Zambezi super-deep borehole off the coast of Mozambique, publicly only stated to reach a depth of 9,322 meters, all stocks of compound Z-21 Violet were pumped into Earth's upper mantle. Forces of mantle convection carried a steady stream of the compound throughout the planet, and SCP-2798 was declared operational by early 1954. Addendum 2798.2 Major Secondary Effects of SCP-2798 The presence of SCP-2798 surrounding Earth has led to many documented anomalous phenomena affecting human society. These effects are to be ameliorated to the maximum extent possible using Foundation resources. However, priority of resource allocation remains focused on research and the possible means of extending the duration of SCP-2798. The following are the most prominent and observable secondary effects of SCP-2798. Transcendent Identity Disorder This mental disorder was discovered by Foundation researchers in the early 1960s indistinguishable from scientifically understood dissociative identity disorder for medical professionals outside the Foundation, transcendent identity disorder is a condition in which an individual periodically shares memories, experiences, thoughts, and sensory input generated by another individual, who remains unaware that the sufferer is affected. Incidence rates of this disorder have been proven to track with fluctuations in the intensity of SCP-2798 which is believed to cause the disorder in sensitive individuals, due to its large-scale chemical and anomalous effects on the perception of self across multiple types of intelligent entity. Patients with transcendent identity disorder are treated by mainstream psychiatry in the same manner as those with non-anomalous associative identity disorder. The incidence rate, on average, is believed to be approximately 0.03% of the world population, with the majority of cases observed within 500 km of the Zambezi super-deep borehole. No known treatment exists. Erosion of belief in organized action Advanced mathematical analysis, ongoing since 1972, suggests that SCP-2798 is responsible for a statistically significant effect on the world population's willingness to participate in large-scale coordinated action. This effect is, thus far, only observable on the level of the nation-state model. Using a variety of criteria, such as voter turnout rates, instability indicators, proportional share of representation of reactionary political parties and world legislators, and occurrences of violence directed at the state, researchers have established a relationship between these factors and the intensity of SCP-2798. Temporary increases in the power of SCP-2798 are believed to have influenced the outcome of several parliamentary elections, resulting most notably in a projected two-seat increase for the Golden Dawn Party in the Greek parliamentary elections of May 2012 and the success of a vote of no confidence against UK Prime Minister James Callaghan in 1979. While researchers have projected the reduction of this effect as a possible mitigating factor in the eventual failure of SCP-2798, this particular influence appears to have permanently affected political landscapes worldwide since the early 2010s, and thus no increase in societal stability may be expected from the cessation of this containment measure. Propagation of anomalous energy fields in other celestial bodies Instrumentation developed via anomalous means for the detection and measurement of SCP-2798 began to register data for the Moon in 1979. This was followed by detectable fields around Mars in 1981, Saturn in 1992, and Comet 33D Coroma in 2003. The field around the moon was observed to deteriorate rapidly and disappear entirely within the space of three weeks in 2005. To date, this is the only known occurrence of an observed field undergoing complete decay. How these fields manifest is unknown. Due to the much lower energy levels measured for these extraterrestrial fields, researchers believe that they do not exhibit the effects of SCP-2798 upon SCP-001. 
The relationship between the decay of the lunar field and the sudden deterioration of SCP-2798 cannot be established with current research capabilities, but is strongly suspected to exist. Addendum 2798.3 Suppressed Communications Regarding SCP-2798 SCP-2798 has generated a number of public information risks related to secondary effects, documented to be more likely to occur during periods of increased energy intensity. This is theorized to be due to the omnipresent nature of SCP-2798 and its poorly understood effects on mass consciousness. Below is a selected log of public documentation believed to be attributable to SCP-2798, suppressed either prior to or shortly after appearing. Item 2798.3.4 UPI Wire Service Article Comments Documented concurrently with heightened measurable energy levels occurring 70 km above the vicinity of Ontario, Canada. Authorities detain Ontario man found in hole. Kitchener, Ontario, August 30th, UPI. Police in Kitchener had detained a man found Saturday evening in a 10-foot deep hole that he had reportedly dug in a vacant lot in the city's Breithaupt Park neighborhood after passersby had reported the incident. Witnesses at the scene described a man digging a hole with a spade at a frantic pace in the late evening hours, refusing to acknowledge any attempts at communication and described as highly agitated. Police were summoned when the man reportedly started a portable auger drill that he had taken into the hole with him. Emergency responders were later called to cordon off the area after an unknown chemical substance was found in the hole. A spokesperson for the Waterloo Regional Police Service confirmed that the man, whose name had not been released as of press time, has been remanded for a psychiatric evaluation. Item 2798.3.15 Quad Cities Model Train Society Newsletter Comments 1978 newsletter distributed on a quarterly basis to members of the Quad Cities Model Train Society in the Midwestern United States. Unusual nature of contents resulted in local reproduction and circulation among several hundred individuals before information suppression procedures were executed. Fellow Engineers, thanks to Fred Munro for coordinating our fifth annual public exhibition day at Centennial Park. It was a fine day to display some of the portable track exhibits we've been working on, and the event was a real whopper. Miles under our feet, everything we have ever known has been taught that life is a curse. Special thanks to Cub Scout Troop 497 for helping to set up. If you're like me, you're excited for the new Lionel N-Gage Scenic Vistas range of landscape materials and models. I've gotten word that Bill's Games and Hobbies is going to get this bang-up new line on their shelves by the new year. 8,000 souls have been melted down to create an obscenity that we cling to until vengeance comes. Tell Bill that you're a member and get 5% off. Congratulations to our buddy Jim Lucas, who's retiring after 30 years of the bottling plant and will be lucky enough to die before the end comes. Best wishes to him and Cynthia on their new life in sunny Florida, and a reminder to go check out his Nito Southern Pacific line in his rec room. Did you know a rotting corpse will attract living predators? Is it better to putrefy for a hundred generations than to die screaming once? Happy spring birthdays to Harry S. 47. George B. 55 and Dwight E. 42. Item 2798.3.27 Anomalous Flyer Distribution, Karachi, Pakistan Comments 37 leaflets written in Urdu, distributed in front of homes in the farooq e azam Union Council of Karachi sometime prior to the morning of November 27, 1968, which came to the attention of local authorities due to perceived anti-government content. Attention. All are one people, tomb at the center of the earth, open the gates of mercies upon you. All are one, and I have scratched the coffin until our nails came off. It sees me. Open the gates. Item 2798.3.41 Internet Forum Exchange Notes: A conversation on a subforum used by members of the Internet Dating Site flagged by automated search protocols and removed in accordance with electronic information suppression protocols. GF-51513 ASL-37 Dude Hey, are you local? I was Keone. Lol, where's that? I was Keone, they ripped me apart and buried me living. Buried living? And buried me living? I was beautiful and I am everywhere now? Um, okay, that's a little weird. Do you want to fuck me? 
Hey, what the fuck, I didn't tell you my name. How do you know that? It's okay, I used to like doing that when I was… I'm everywhere now. Do you want to know what this is like? It's like being held down and fucked by thousands of people at once. Why wouldn't it let me close this? What the hell? I screamed with their voices. Now I was Akina. It's like being thousands of people at once too. It doesn't stop. Do want to know what Serapis is? I'm pulling the plug on the computer now. Please leave me alone. Has signed out. 2103. Dig a hole. You can hear me scream with all voices. Dig. Dig and this world will be yours. Love. GF-51513 is signed out. 0259. Addendum 2798.4 Post-SCP-2798 Contingency Plans Designation, Summary, and Disposition Con 1. Mass evacuation of Earth to nearby planets. Rejected. 2-11. Technologically infeasible. Con 2. Negotiation with SCP-001. Rejected. 5-8. Unworkable. Con 3. Systematic Anomalous Weaponization Program December 11, 2015. Approved 12-1. January 1, 2016. Rejected 0-13. Impossible. Con 4. Project Serapis 2. Rejected 3-10. Escalated secondary effects intolerable. Con 5. Worldwide distribution of potassium cyanide ampules. Vote pending. Addendum 2798.5 Projected cessation of SCP-2798 SCP-2798 is currently projected to cease activity in SCP-2798 has ceased function. SCP-001 uncontained. Worldwide emergency protocols are now in effect.